Hello and welcome to Jimmy Total Nerdery Channel. So, From the Depth has finally been released and I will start work on some new tutorials and all that, finally. However, this little video will show you how to fix your steam engines and steam boats basically, steam crafts. Because likely they are kind of broken now and there are several points you'll need to fix and I'll show you um, all that comes into mind. So here we have the GI Good Boy. It isn't working anymore and um, it also has been upgraded by the way, because as Xavier Crow correctly pointed out, it did totally like the beautiful unicorn horn. So it had to be added. Of course it had to be added and it is now added. It's still not working though, so we'll check into how we can make it work. So what does happen? This uh, is a propeller, a 3 meter small propeller. So it's the right size, but we'll have a little trouble here with the transmission. It doesn't wanna work, it doesn't wanna connect up. And this is because, you can see here, before you were supposed to stack uh, these uh, transmissions if you didn't stack the transmissions, it wasn't very efficient. However, this is not how to do it anymore, so we'll need to replace all those with... Uh, yeah, we'll need, we'll need to replace, so we'll only have one transmission. And inside this transmission we can now say set the gear ratio. Um, yeah, beautiful. We can set the gear ratio and we are going to do that later. Anyhow, here we can see we have a shaft small bearing and oh yes. So now there is also this little interesting thing here. Shafts. Shafts are just shafts and as long as they are the correct size they should absolutely work no problem at all. Uh, which means that there are no need for setting up different types of uh, shafts between uh, uh, like There was uh, I, I don't even remember what it's called But it was the engine shaft the road between the engines and then there were some kind of shaft that were supposed to connect uh, uh, like to drills and propellers This is not the thing anymore. So uh, Yeah, that's pretty good we should now replace all of the shafts with shafts with bearings, fantastic. Right, it does say not attached to a steam engine, which is pretty interesting. I can probably remove this thing here. All right, so how does it look here? Right, we can remove that. Probably place them on there. Maybe we should actually switch it up so it looks decent. Right, we should be able to pl place a propeller on top of there. Now, just to check, it does not say attach because it's medium. It's uh, we should now have a small, which should now be attached. So the the small and medium may look the same, but uh, I don't know if this was the case before. But you'll need to make sure they are. Uh, correctly sized because we have small, medium, and large. God, that's a pretty thick rod. Anyways, let's get into here because our engine is still not working. Why is this? Output this block can't dissipate steam. So the input behind the uh, engine is the input and on top of it is the output. Now this is a pretty modern steam engine if I can say so myself. I made it to be a little bit more efficient. So basically the output from the first pair of cylinders goes into the input of the second place, uh, which makes it more efficient. And you can do this effect for very long until, um, yeah, basically the more layers you have, the more efficient it will be theoretically, except we also have the kinetic loss due to, uh, um, due to friction. So, uh, you should probably have at least one backup of pistons uh, 
behind it so that it can kind of use the output from the first ones to make it more efficient, but maybe not 20, because if you have that much, you probably just add too much friction. But that's how to make it more efficient anyways. So, you can see we are spinning up here. So we are just going to move this so that the output is freed. Fantastic. Right. They seem to be free. Both of them seems to be absolutely free. Great. Okay. Seems that it's kind of working now. Okay. Burn rate. Oh, cool. So now we can set the burn rate on the boilers as well. We don't have to go to the steam controller. Anyways, uh, a lot has been cleaned up here. So we can have burn rate one. Ha. Huh. This is interesting. So where, where do I set it to automatically control pressure then? Interesting. Oh, well, all that has changed a lot, it seems. So uh, anyways, <clears throat> that's not a thing. Cool. Uh, so we can, of course, set the burn rate to lower that we can do. We can also go in here. Um, not that one. This one, of course, the gearbox. We can go to the gearbox and we can select the maximum RPM rotation speed. Now, I don't know how much engine power we do need. I suspect we need less than that. Like, probably... Probably very little, I don't know. Uh, very little. Uh, maximum RPM. So, basically, we can see performance over time, material use. So if we set this to maximum RPM, very low, and wait like five seconds, we should be able to see here material usage has gone down. So that's, that's something we can do as well. Yeah, and here we can see some kinetic loss uh, and uh, lots of stats. Things has changed, interesting. Well, then it's more up to burn rate then. I wonder if uh, overpressure uh, and damage from that is even a thing anymore. I'm starting to believe it is not. Anyways, we successfully make this steamboat working by changing that out as well as... Oh, right! I I just remembered we have backup normal propellers. Yeah, we'll, act we'll actually need uh, some power. I don't know how much some power. Cool! Um, well... It should now be alive. We should successfully have saved this thing. Our stabilization work seems to be going fine. Front. Nice. It seems to be completely alive. In that case, we can save the good boy. And there we'll have it. Good boy is saved. Now, um... Just to make sure we're working completely fine, we are going to close this damn door, get into the seat, switch over to AI control, and spawn a celebratory marauder. Oh god, what is this now? Oh, so the spawning menu is different too. Interesting. Cool. So inventory fleet colors, very cool. Yeah, Ooh. utilities, copy paste, rename, oh, interesting. Anyways, everything's changed, cool. Deep water guard. I don't like this new menu. The last menu was so much cooler. Come on. Well, whatever, we can spawn it. All right, let's enjoy our steam Battle. Burp, burp. Oh god, why did we blow up our own... I think we did blow up our own thing there. We are working completely fine though. Oh, and one little note as well. As I forgot to mention. Here if you go down here into the small transition I dragged it ratio up to 2, because it gives me more speed. Also this little detail here, you can see our small 3 meter propeller. 
Uh, due to placement of the block, the force output is scaled to only 70% of it. And that is because uh, the output is unfortunately blocked by these three areas below, which is blocked by this uh, big propeller up there. Kind of annoying. But, uh, well, there we have it. That's kind of how it works. You can see the RPM of this thing is... Uh, could be better. So we probably need to upgrade this engine actually to be a lot faster. To... Uh, yeah, even work. So possibly... Possibly we should... Maybe take off this one. Let's disconnect the backup propellers and perhaps we can get up with speed. Not sure. But uh, we wanna we wanna be kind of uh, efficient as well, so whatever. There we'll have it anyways. And the burn rate is full, so we could make them um, just bigger steam sources for this thing. Uh, yeah. Should probably indeed do that. But not in this video. Now we have fixed this enough. Oh lord. Oh no. Our poor propeller. Is it looking normal? Oh god. The three meter propeller is glitched. Anyways, it's. It stayed in tiny mood. Sad story. Anyways, it kind of works now, so let us again spawn a Marauder um, and let it battle out. There we have it. Whoops. Oh, there we go. Just for the fun of it. So there we can basically, we have it fixed. And uh, yeah. It's a little bit slower than before, but again, the engine apparently needs more steam now to actually run uh, as efficient as it should. But I do hope that this video did help you a little bit of uh, how to know basically what to do so that your crafts that are no longer working will be working again. Um, yeah, it's not very complex. But uh, it is worth checking out, I believe, to make it work. So anyways, um, hope that uh, you have enjoyed this little video. And if you did, leave a like and do subscribe for future videos. This is your host, Jim Adesim, Total Notary Channel, signing out once again from From the Depth. We'll be back, and hopefully you as well. So, see you, and bye-bye.